Hey guys, Mismaster1 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. So last time, we made it to Flower Fields, and now we are exploring more of it, because we have ourselves um, a magic bean, or like something. We have like, uh, what is it? We have a lot of letters, but we have a magical bean and some fertile soil, so we are going to see if we can find anything that can work with those two by getting, going across this path that is completely safe and has spikes on it. Um, but yeah, we have to jump across those pillars there, and then we have to use paracarry to get across the other one. So, make sure that you don't, like, you know... Oh, oh. I thought I saw something for a sec, but... We could clear this path out now, which has a bunch of the daisies enemies, and what those do. You know, we've already mentioned... We've already been through this, and... Yeah. I'm not gonna go into much detail, but over here, we have some blueberries. Oh, yeah, we got a stinky herb last time. I didn't use that. Get out of here, you smell. But if you look carefully, there is something in the bush right there. You got the star piece! This makes our third star piece of flower fields. I believe there are like seven in total. Um, anyway, moving on here, if you hit this block... Oops, there's a dizzy dial, I don't want this crap. Get out of here. Um, if we use... Is there any hidden items? I just want to check. Um, doesn't look like it, so I think I'm just gonna, you know, pass on for now. And... Be careful right here, there is another secret block with maple syrup, which, that's okay, I guess, but... You know, I really should have put items away, you know what, get rid of the thunderbolt. But, checking around here, there is another star piece panel, and don't- no, don't fall off there, I come back. Yeah, and there it is. You get this next star piece under the floor panel on, like, this place with, like, the three things we could use to dive off of, but there's no water. That can't foreshadow anything, nothing at all. Alright, and if you look down there, we will see, like, a little lily pad flower with, like, you know, a hole in the in the ground for something, but go around this whole a area and hit this tree, and we can find some jam and jelly, so that's pretty badass. Um, get rid of the mushroom. Okay. And let's talk to this flower. Hello. Gah, oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't be happening to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible thing that rides the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Check behind you. Yeah. Oh. A prince, well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but biggest can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in the spring. Um, to tell the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Sure, why not? Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. Okay. Please find it, heart. So now we are on a mission to find a water stone for this flower here. Alright. Now, this chapter... In general, it's not that hard. But it can be confusing because of, like, the whole way they decided to do this. And, well... Actually, hang on. There's something I want to see if I can trigger first. Because I want to show this off. If you keep leaving the screen and come back, there's a chance that you can get something to happen. Like, on this particular screen, so... Yeah. People who've played this know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get it to happen. It doesn't seem to want to happen right now. You'll know what happens when you see something different over here. No, those two flowers still look the same. Come on. If I can't get in a few more tries, then I'll just pass... Oh, there it is. Um, Once in a while when you go through this area, you will find this enemy called an Amazing Daisy. Unlike the regular daisies. Let me just do this one off, off screen. Okay, and like I was saying, now those guys over there are different than the regular crazy daisies. These are called the mazy daisies right here, and they will want to run away from you. Now here's the trick about them. Here's something very important to learn, especially if you want to grind levels. These guys give a crap load of experience. Like, they give the amount of experience a boss would normally give, and possibly more. Now the thing is, they have 20 HP... And they run away most of the time on the first turn that you give them, so... They're very difficult to kill, and when they do attack, they do 20 damage, so they're pretty deadly. But the one thing you can do to help you kill this thing... 
have your dizzy attack on and spin into it. So we're gonna try to do this. There we go. Spin into it. And that locks it in place for a full turn and that gives us a chance to actually try to kill this thing. So what I recommend, use your power jump. These gals, gals, <laughs> these guys also have a point of defense, so be careful about that. And if you have some, you need to do something that does five damage a turn. If you don't have these badges, which you should have power jump at least, um, use like your um, star storm or something because you do not want these guys to get away when you get the chance to. Because if you kill them, they get, they are well worth the price. There we go, we killed him. All right, and we get a crap load of experience. Look at that, 43 star points. That is a fuckload for just one enemy, and they give a crap load of coins too, so... Yeah. <laughs> you probably want to actually grab that. And hey, you know what? Let's, you know, use these berries from this tree to heal up. So, grab that. Hit heal with this one. See, I mean, if they give you an infinite supply of the berries, why not use them is my, like, you know, question. So let's leave the screen and come back. And let's eat the other blueberry. And there we go, we're fully healed again. That's what I like about this chapter, is that if you abuse the system, that you can actually, um, pretty much heal yourself infinitely with what they give you. And now the crazy daisy is by itself, because we took care of the amazing daisy, which does not respawn unless you leave the area. But if you follow what I did, you can pretty much grind infinitely until you're like max level because they still give, even as you get like higher and higher in levels, it only takes like three or four of them to actually, you know, make you go up a level regardless of how high a level you are, so. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna reach max level because honestly we're getting kinda near, near-ish to the end of the game. Like I mean chapter 6 out of 8, we're almost three-fourths done, but we'll see. Anyway, with the blueberry in hand, this is the same stuff which, except with the blue flower, and you give the blue flower the blueberry, and it lets you pass. I'm just skipping over that because, I mean, it's the same dialogue they've already given us with the other two flowers. Now, a little secret, um, actually, do I have my spike shield on? Let me just check really quick. Um, yeah. Then I might as well show these guys. Um, come on. Oh, damn it. Uh, crap. That was a failed demonstration of how to fight these guys, but... Right here, we have ourselves some spinies, and these guys are a lot like, um, just basically the spiked, you know, fuzzy beetles, except for the fact that, um, I think they have a little less HP, but for the same, and they have a little more attack, but it's like at the same time, they're really not that big of a deal. They're pretty much just like the regular fuzzipede, except, you know, slightly different. Like, maybe one point of HP difference, maybe, like, a little stronger, but besides that, basically the same thing. Now, a little secret. Take Watt out, and if you use her, you can see a hidden block right here, and you'll want to hit that. So we jump up here, and we can land on this block, and you can get over to this block, but if you use her again, you can see another hidden item, and inside this one contains a shooting star, which you will want... Because a shooting star is actually a pretty good item. It's like Star Storm minus one damage with no star power cost. And speaking of that, we might want to get ready for a mini boss fight coming up right here. Oh my god, it's Lakitu's! Oh. We haven't seen en enough Mario enemies in this game yet. Hey, where'd you drop it? Idiot Huff and Puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water without it. You can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. It's just gotta be around here somewhere. It's just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario. Let's look for the stone later. Let's go rough this dude up. Oh no, Mario, are you sure? I'm not sure I'm, you know, in the right mental state. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll fight it anyway. Here it comes, Mario. And we have a mini boss fight with two Lakitus and two Spinies. Now, easiest strategy you can do with these guys. Lakitu's have a decent amount of HP. They have like 10 HP or something like that. Um, they can summon other spinies to actually fight you, so be careful about that as well. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, they can't really attack you themselves, aside from throwing the spinies on you, which basically turn into regular spiny enemies afterwards, but yeah. Use your Star Storm ability is what I recommend, or just use that shooting star we got a minute ago, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Get rid of the spinies right away, and then with Bombette, 
use the Mega Bomb ability to bomb both of these guys. And booyah, and that should do it. There you go. Pretty easy. And 12 star points, we're almost at another level. Sweet. And they run away. <laughs> Alright. Now, now a part that a lot of people have trouble with, which they really shouldn't, is the hedge maze. Now right here, you have several paths you can go to with all these pipes around. Now, the path you want to go to is around here. You want to take a southern turn down here. You can cut across the grass there and make your way to the central pipe in this area right here. This will take you out of the maze to the other side and that's where you want to go. So let's see what we have on the other side. Oh my god, it's an ugly flower. It's like a rose. See, it has thorns and everything. Oh, hello. It seems like it seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I get told that a lot when I think about it. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever glad. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom, and there's nobody looking at me. Please admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? You know what? I'm a nice guy. I'll just say yes because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Really? Is that, is, I'm that beautiful. You, you're so honest and charming and underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. What? How dare you? I like you and because I like you, I'll show you this. <gasps> That's the water stone. This stone, isn't it beautiful? I found it just the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. We want that. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. You see, Mario's just like begging for the goddamn thing. Huh? What'd you say? I should give you this stone? Oh dear, you're saying Lily's in trouble without this? How very sad. Oh well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see? Why aren't you a bitch? You mean Lily will wither up without this stone? Hmm, how sad, really. How really pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than me. Actually, she kind of is. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see, tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So let's wait till then, heart. So we have another backtracking thing to do, but I don't mind, because I like this chapter. Really, chapter six and seven, and chapter eight, I guess, is are really my favorite parts. The second half of the game is really where I like it, so I'm glad I'm at this part. I honestly feel like the beginning of the game is pretty slow, but it's like at the same time, at least they start off with some good bosses like Koopa Bros and Tubba Blubba and General Guy. Um, Toon Koopa not so much, but you know, you take what you can get. Anyway, one th one place we can go to definitely, you know, get a crystal thing and get away from me, Bazap. Get away from me. Stop chasing me, you fuckers! Ugh, god damn it. I hate the enemies in this area, though. The enemies can be a bit of a pain, but it's not too bad. Like, you know, I'm, I know the strategy for them, so it's not terrible. Let's get for- let's go for my FP this time. I might- I know I've kind of, like, lost the order slightly from what I should be doing, but, like, at the same time... You know, I just realized I- I said I'd take those snowman dolls from Chapter 5, and I didn't even end up using a goddamn one, so it's like... Yeah, make sure you bring these snowman dolls, and it's like, I never use one, it's like, okay, what was the point in that? Hi, Posey. Yeah, she'll give us something. Oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful? Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved, have you noticed? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> you really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots. So maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. <laughs> yeah! And oh wow, that looks nice actually. Whew. Oops, that was a bit unladylike. <laughs> Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. And with this, we have the crystal berry, a glittering berry made of crystal. Okay. So now that we have that, I guess I will cut back to, you know, Rosie. So give me a minute, guys. Okay, and we are back. So now let's continue on forward. And Rosie, we got you that crystal something to make you want to give us that stone. Have you found anything? Here, take this. Oh, how pretty. I love it. That's much nicer than this ugly old stone. You better hurry up and bring and give this back to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. And we have traded for the water stone. A magical stone and water springs from it. Okay. Oh, such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Who is the most beautiful flower in all flower fields? That is me, of course. Now, I'd say Posey is next to, uh, you know, 
Actually, it's hard to choose, but you're probably like the ugliest, so. Eh, you know, that figures. And I guess I will cut back to when I go back to Lily, so I will see you guys down the southeastern path. So give me a minute, and I'll be right there. Get through this goddamn maze. Alright, and we are back, and now, Lily, I have the water stone. Here it is. Oh, it's the water stone. Quickly, put it in that hole right there. Yes, ma'am. Put the water stone in the hole, and there you go. And now, watch this and be amazed. As the water stone starts filling with water, and oh my god. I'm being written up in water. Yay! Technically, if this was actually real physics, I would crimple up and, like, die because of how, you know, water reacts when it... Oh god, I'm falling! But yeah. <laughs> And it, look at this, it fills up the place, and now we can actually swim across that and get up to that tree that's right there. Hmm. Well then. Oh, it's water, sweet water. The, sp the spring is full of water, I'm floating again. No, oh, this is paradise. Thank you so very much. I'll give you some miracle water from the spring. Here you are. And you got miracle water, very cold water. It glitters in the sun. Okay. This is the most nourishing water around. It's, it, it's water... It's water with a little lily extract. <laughs> oh god, that can be taken the wrong way. If you use this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow like gangbusters. Does she have like a thing or something? Like, look at her face. You see like that black thing? What the hell is that? Uh, but not right now because there's no sun. Oh yes, great idea. You should go see about getting the sun back into the sky. A resourceful guy like you must have some idea about how to get the sun back up again. I bet you'll do it. You saved me, after all. Yeah, does she have, like, a mole or something? What the hell is that? <laughs> Flowers have moles, I know, right? Um, but yeah. Now that the water is filled up, we can take out sushi and fly across to this place over here. So let's grab something from this tree. And we have ourselves a bubble berry. Bubble berry. Um, throw the maple syrup away. Actually, yeah, throw it away. I don't really care too much about it. Because honestly, we have more than enough stuff to last us the rest of the game. Plus, I'm not going to use items too much as it is. One thing we will want to do, though, is definitely pick up one more blueberry before we actually, you know, continue on. And, yeah, get rid of the snowman doll. So, remember when I said earlier that we would, like, visit an area to the east of Petunia back in the first part of the chapter? Well, we're going to go do that now, so... Let me just fly across. Don't miss these jumps. Okay. If you fall in there, don't worry. It just sends you back to the place where you started from, like from either side. It was just not like extremely deadly or anything. Let's be cheap and ride across the backside behind these trees to avoid any enemy encounters and just keep going. And now we want to go this way, like to the east. And when you see this, yeah, you'll hear, you know, someone crying over here and here's a well. And you want to drop a blueberry into it. Don't drop anything else. Drop a blueberry into it. And it's like, uh, who's throwing stuff into my well? Huh? This is a blueberry. I love these. Thank you. I'll give you this in return. And by doing that, you get the Flower Saver Badge. During battle saves, 1 FP every time you attack. Pretty damn good badge. Unfortunately, uh, what the thing with all good badges is that if you check, let's see. There it is. Costs 6 FBP to use, so it's kind of costly just for saving 1 FP on all attacks. So you could probably get by without it, so honestly, I don't think it's worth it that much. But anyway, um, I mean, the badge is good by me. It's like, it's not good, it's not really worth it until you have like max BP and can optimize stuff. But anyway, I will sign off for now. I've been Miss Master 1. This has been the second part of Chapter 6 on Let's Play Paper Mario, and next time. We will head to the northwestern part of Flower Fields. Now that we have a bubbleberry, we can now talk to another plant that actually eats bubbleberries and can help us advance even more. So, see you guys next time, and peace out. We will continue this in chap- Wow. I fuck up the outros every time. I am so sorry, guys. We will continue Chapter 6 in the next episode with Part 3. Thank you for watching. I've been Miss Master 1. See you guys next time. Goodbye.